In the beginning, there was nothing but darkness. Blacker than black. And then there was a Mumby 48. Hello there, Sailing Into Freedom fans. I want to say thank you once more for all the kind comments that have been left on YouTube. I can't believe it. It's been eight months since the videos on YouTube and even longer that I was on the boat and yet the comments still keep coming. So thank you so much for that. It's true. It's definitely true that I am going back on Sailing Into Freedom. I don't know when yet, but probably within the next year or so. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What is the Elcano Challenge? In 2019, the sailing legend Jimmy Cornell, being very concerned with the environment and escalating carbon emissions, conceived of the idea of sailing around the world on a fully electric boat, and he called it the Elcano Challenge. He named it after navigator Juan Sebastian Elcano from the Magellan Expedition 500 years ago. In 2021, Jimmy attempted the challenge in a modern, fully electric boat with modern conveniences, but turned back three weeks into the voyage, believing that he would not succeed with the current design. He has since announced that he's not going to go ahead with the challenge. So I've decided to take up the challenge with a new design and new ideas. So what's the big deal? Well, virtually every sailing boat you see out there, including this one, has a diesel engine in it that powers the boat from time to time. Now, these give off emissions, of course. Cooking, virtually all cooking on boats is done by gas, also adding to the emissions. This is the norm. We need to change that because we can change that. But it's still a really big challenge because the power requirements of a modern boat with modern conveniences are high and the technology is still in its infancy. But it can be done. And what's more, if it can be done with a certain level of amenity, more people will get into it and the industry will provide better and cheaper technology and then even more people will get into it. And then diesel engines on sailing boats will be a thing of the past and then fully electric boats will become mainstream. For the Elcano Challenge, we need speed. Look at how smooth this mumby is in the foreground, effortlessly slicing through the swell. This is one of the reasons why I chose the Mumby 48 for this challenge. It all began with this bloke here, Walter, one of the most ingenious and knowledgeable guys I have ever met. And he started to show me around his Mumby 48. And then he said, you can build this boat yourself. After all, he was more than 60 when he began his boat. Sit back and relax, people. We went inside and he showed me the photo album. It all begins with 41 grand of aluminium, a shed, determination and a dream. Cut, bend, tack and weld. Cut, bend, tack and weld. Just keep that mantra going. Everyone pitches in. In fact, many people have already devoted their time in getting this project done. Some even want to come to the Philippines and lend a hand. This isn't just my project, people. It is our project. And five months later, working seven days a week, you have the shell complete.
This boat is the fastest, safest and least expensive catamaran out there and this Kickstarter campaign is about building it to do the Elcano challenge. Of course our boat is not going to be as nice as this boat because fit out is a huge expense. I mean this is going to be the master bedroom. Here is the galley and the crew quarters and toilet. You're welcome crew, you're welcome. Nah, it's not gonna be that bad. Although, maybe it will. Look, our budget is very small. Look, if need be, I will roll a swag out on the floor. I really don't mind. You know me, I'm comfortable just sitting in the rain without any comfort at all, for as long as it takes. So a swag on the floor is luxury. It's all about completing this boat with the minimum of comfort and fuss and doing the Elcano challenge. There's only seven days left in the Kickstarter campaign. Go and check it out. I'm super excited to go back to Sailing Into Freedom for another ad adventure. It's going to be great. And there's definitely going to be a pineapple or two if I can decide anything about it.